What's up guys, welcome back. We are gonna continue today with our Mirror Mance deck. This one is really, really sweet. Uh, if you didn't already check out the first video, I highly encourage you to do so. Uh, we're gonna run this through three more games. Yesterday we actually did four games because uh, two of them went very, very quickly. Uh, which tends to be kind of the way this deck goes. Either you lose very quickly or hopefully you win. Uh, <laughs> If you don't know what this deck does or how it's built or anything like that, again, please check out that first video. We do kind of step-by-step -step go through the deck uh, and just show you what it's meant to do, uh, which this is a very jank deck. Like, just get it out there, but it is very, very fun. Uh, absolutely ridiculous. Uh, and, okay, that obviously does not count. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and jump into our real game one. Um We'll see, uh, hopefully our next opponent won't just disconnect like that. Hey, we win. Good for us. All right. For real this time. Let's jump in. So, uh, this deck is really built around Mirror March and Dance of the Mance, though. It's essentially just enchantment focused. Draw a bunch of cards, uh, get a bunch of enchantments in the graveyard, bring them all back along with Mirror March, and then get copies of everything. Uh, it's absolutely hilarious. Uh, unfortunately, I don't think we can keep this hand. If we had one more land, I would be very, very okay with it. But unfortunately, not there that time. Um, here, though, very happy to keep this. Uh, and I actually think we'll put that on the bottom here. Um, oops, let's go Temple of Enlightenment first. I'm actually going to put that on the bottom. Let's see what else we can get. Uh, so the idea is to just get a bunch of enchantments in the graveyard. Thirst for Meaning helps us get there. Uh, Thrill of Possibility helps us get there. And then, of course, just random uh, discard along and using using of the omens in particular, which is a very large portion of the deck. So let's go ahead and drop this down there. A good second uh, play for sure. Uh, second turn play, I should say. Opponent with a Temple of Malice and a Swamp, so I'm really interested to see. Okay, Croxa discard, which is kind of okay for us. We just get to discard a Mirror March here, which is exactly what we want to do. Uh, so I'm perfectly fine with that. We'll pass here. I'm wondering if they are Grixis or if they are just uh, Red Black. I've seen a couple different variants of this deck, so... Wouldn't be surprised either way. Hmm. We'll discard a Birth of Miletus. The Omen of the Forge may come in handy considering what they've got here. Um, there's a lot of reasons why we would want to be able to do two damage to something. If not, get rid of a Midnight Reaper, you know, stuff like that. I'm going to pay two here. There is a world where we throw the possibility along with him into the forge, so I think I'm going to go ahead and take the two. Don't really like to do that against these aggro kind of sacrifice decks in particular, but we'll uh, we'll see how they go. Yep. Depending on what they play, uh, we, we will open into the forge. If we don't, we may just go ahead and discard it to throw the possibility. <clears throat> Very cool uh, little interaction here, by the way. Very, very cool. Let's actually discard the omen here. Uh, normally I wouldn't want to do that, but I do think here it's kind of a, a necessary thing. So now we have a couple of options. Um, again, I don't love doing this, but I will. We're going to Prison Realm the Soren. Get rid of that guy. And then we do have the Thrill of Possibility up next turn. Or uh, during their turn, I should say. Keep that on top, and we will pass. I 
We're doing an okay job of staying alive, uh, considering how aggro focused this deck is. This is a Mardu deck. I didn't realize they had played a Plains. Um, interesting. Very interesting. I don't know that I've seen much of this. Well, of course they're Mardu with Soren. Um, I haven't seen much of this version, uh, so I'm kind of interested to see what they do here. Opponent playing a bit slow, but that's okay. Certainly want to make the right plays, so I get that. So if we block here, uh, we do lose the wall. Hmm. I think I'm okay with that. I understand they're going to crack Fable Passage here. That makes complete sense. Mm hmm. Keep in mind, we have two Dance of the Mances here, so there is the possibility that we just dance early, uh, getting only a few of our uh, enchantments back here. So there's certainly a reason or a world where we do that just to keep ourselves alive uh, against a deck like this. Uh, for three, we can certainly get an omen, a uh, couple omens, and then maybe another Birth of Miletus if we needed to. So, hmm. Is that what we'd like to do? I think I'm going to take the risk this time around. Uh, let's go ahead and Thirst for Meaning. We'll discard this Mirror March. We did not get another land, which is certainly not good. So we're going to Birth of Miletus and play it safe here. We can Omen of the Sea or Thrill of Possibility to certainly try and get us there as well, but... I'd rather take the surefire route, and this does give us another blocker for next turn. Uh, they will, I'm sure, have some way, you know, Field of Ruin plus Mayhem Devils swinging in. It certainly deals with that, but this does help us uh, stave off a little bit of an attack here, so I am going to go with it. And now we are at a point where we really just need two more lands to kind of go off. Uh, we've got two Mirror Marches in the graveyard, which is great. Um... And then we've got plenty of other options. I mean, Omen of the Forge, uh, Omen of the Sun, all great options here. Ah, okay. Very good. Glad we drew a land this turn. That's definitely helpful. Two, three, four, five. So we do really want to draw a card if possible. All of our options though, we're not gonna dance this turn. All of our options can be played on their turn. So let's just see what they do. Hmm, okay. Mm-hmm. Very good card for this deck, for sure. We'll just do this. We're going to hang on to our tokens here as long as we can, I think. Okay, so. Mm -mm. Let's thrill. Let's discard that. Perfect. We got our land. That's exactly what we needed. Let's get this out there just to give ourselves a couple of extra tokens and a couple extra life. We get the extra life off of birth here. One thing we do need to be careful of, when we sacrifice permanents to Mirror March, we are going to be taking quite a hit. So our goal is going to be to copy uh, Omen of the Forge as much as possible. So this is a bit of a risky play, but 
I do think uh, it's one that we're going to have to make. It'd be great if we had an Elspeth Conquers Death or something along those lines in the graveyard. Unfortunately, we don't. Um, but we'll see what we can do here. We really do have to target the Mayhem Devil pretty quickly here. Get our land for the turn. Prison Realm is very good on top. We really don't need another land, so let's uh, scribe out to the bottom and draw. Not hitting very many luck. Our, uh, good luck charms here on this mirror march. We'll uh, hopefully get something. Decline. Obviously, we don't have another planes. Wow. Okay. Got a lot of triggers there. Unfortunately, we did not get there on that. Um, we're really hoping to kill this Mayhem Devil because we're going to take a good bit of damage this turn. Whoops, that was an accident. All right. This is going to suck. This is really going to hurt. Mayhem Devil's going to trigger. Am I wrong? Does that not work? Oh, it's just exile them. It's not sacrifice them. I'm sorry. That makes a lot of sense. So that really wasn't the optimal play. Um, that was just a misunderstanding on my end. I was thinking this would be good to kill because sacrificing those permanents would trigger something. Still think it was, like, not a bad thing to try and target this, uh, considering we only needed another, one more, uh, Omen of the Forge to really make that work. Um, but it is what it is. Omen of the Sun really coming in handy this time. 18 one ones. That's pretty crazy. So this gives us the option of either getting rid of the troll or Liliana. I think we just get rid of Liliana and then swing in. Uh, at the opponent here. Playing a bit slow here. Wow. I'm actually okay with that. We have another dance from the manse. Dance of the manse, excuse me. That kind of is fine. Like, I don't care that much that they did that. We just now get to do this for seven. Five, six, is all we have birth? Yeah, okay. I mean, we just do it again. <laughs> this time, Argument of the Forge is going to be targeting Lily. Uh, we need to get her down to a manageable total. If not, kill her if we can. Elspeth conquers death. We're going to keep that. It's a very good thing to have here. And there's a couple extra omens. That's good. Get her down to one. Wow. Going to draw a number of cards here. Don't really want those. We're going to take both of these. And that. <laughs> 
Yes, please. Do have to watch our deck total, of course. If we if we get a lot of copies of Omen, we do just kind of lose. <clears throat> So we get rid of Lily. Okay, well, looks like we're drawing eight cards. <laughs> um, This is going to be a really interesting time. We really don't want Omen of the Sea anymore. Uh, we really don't want to draw any extra cards if we don't have to. We'll draw that. Gives us another backup. I think we've got all four dances this turn. Or this game, excuse me. I'm just kind of keeping anything on top at this point. Um, we're going to end up discarding most, if not all of it. Take Elspeth. Good. Probably shouldn't be using a timeout there. I feel like that's kind of, I mean, it's, we're waiting on the, the, the interface at this point. All right. So we're going to be discarding a lot. All right, discard that. Elspeth conquers death. Prison realm. Omen. Okay. All right. Well, that worked out. Um. <laughs> <coughs> I mean, they can shatter again if they want. That's kind of fine. We've got a pretty good setup right now, so I'm not, I'm really not stressing about it too much. <laughs> and let's say exile stuff, that's where it gets to be a problem. Um, but this is the cool part about this deck, is you get to do stuff like this. Are they going to, excuse me, double deafening Clarion? No, they are not. Okay. I will discard a temple. Let's get Omen of the Forge in the graveyard. Okay. Cat combo right now. Go for it. All right. One, two, one, two three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Let's go for eight. <laughs> this is so stupid and the best possible way. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Sure. I mean, <laughs> zap for two, zap for two, zap for two. <laughs> Got a lot of mirror marches now. Perfect. Get as many of them in the forges as possible. This is the game plan. Okay, a couple more. This is so, like, such a roundabout way to try and kill somebody. It's amazing, though. It's really fun. Getting a million mirror marches does not help us. We really just need omens. But we do have another dance, so they can sweep again. <laughs> there we go. 
That's what we needed. That is exactly what we needed. I mean, this is, this is awesome. This is such a cool game. <laughs> like, this is the coolness of this deck. This is so sweet. It's not good, but it's really fun. Well, I say it's not good. I mean, we're ending the game, hopefully this turn, with above 40 life and, you know, a pretty solid board state with backup. Like, we're we're good even if this doesn't work this turn it's fine like we can we can still make it work and there we go i think that's our two extra omens which does give us the win yes holy crap that was awesome okay now you guys see why i love this deck so we are going to take a short break here uh i have to jump on another thing for a few minutes I will be back. We're going to record uh, the other two games, and uh, hopefully you guys are enjoying this deck, so I'll be right back. All right, sorry about that, guys. We are back. Let's jump in to game two uh, with this amazing deck, frankly. If you saw the the previous episode, it was amazing. If you saw the game just now, it was amazing. I'm. It's weird for me because I just had to take like an hour-long meeting, uh, and so I'm in the middle of a... Uh, I've recorded hour-long meeting. Now I'm recording again. Get back into the mindset, but... We got this. This is awesome. So I'm going to keep this hand. It's not amazing, but it has a million. I mean, we're going to draw a million cards, and that's all we need. So I am good with that. Lead off of the temple. Searching for that red mana. Got it. Uh, we don't need the red mana right this second, honestly. That's kind of the nice thing about this is you kind of get card draw uh, in a lot of different ways with this deck, which is really, really sweet. I'm going to play that in pass. So this is going to be a bit of a tough matchup solely because, uh, again, if you saw that first video, you notice that um, if we don't have the right cards, it tends to be very difficult for us to stay alive versus uh, these aggro focused decks. However, we do have the Omen of the Sun here, um, which I think is definitely going to be the play this turn. Uh, Elspeth Conqueror's Death could be very handy, depending on what comes out of... Uh, interesting. Mm -hmm. What would be great is like a Birth of Miletus here honestly. Um, this is actually kind of nice. We get to deal with both of their creatures here uh, since they kind of insisted on really going for it there. Uh, let's do this. Let's go ahead and deal with the Legion War boss. That's definitely a problem card, so let's go ahead and get rid of it now. I think I'm going to ditch that. Um, we have a Thirst and an Omen in hand, so not not terribly worried about draw. We also have a million Scry on the field, which is super nice. So that's quite good. Let's see. Give me one second. Let's pay to... Let's actually go for this Elspeth Conqueror's Death here. We're going to be spending a lot of our time dealing with their board. Uh, and we know that. Uh, the good thing is once we do get up to enough lands, we'll be in a really good position to hopefully deal with whatever they've got coming. So um, we'll certainly see. Oops, didn't. Let's go ahead and thirst. Draw a few cards. Let's discard a Mirror March. Hmm. I'm going to pay the two here. I don't love it, obviously, because we're about to be facing quite a lot of damage. Um, maybe that was incorrect to do. We'll, we'll see. Putting the stop on upkeep here just so we can start scrying. Uh, kind of debating on whether Omen of the Sun or Omen of the Forge is the one we want to get rid of, though. Uh, and certainly we can get rid of both.
This is certainly representing a lot of damage. And this is where a sweeper may come in handy. This is where something like that might be worthwhile. Um, I don't know, uh, because certainly it's it's not amazing for us to dwindle down our enchantment count there. Um, but having it like a shatter the sky might not be a bad idea. Um, just to have access. In these situations, it certainly would keep us alive a lot better. That being said, just having like a Birth of Miletus, for instance, would have really helped us out in this game. And we do have Birth of Miletus, we just have unfortunately not drawn any. Uh, solely because not only do they gain us some life, but they also give us that 0-4 blocker, uh, which would help us tremendously get rid of some of uh, these problem cards. I think I'm going to do the Omen of the Forge here. If we do draw a dance, um, that's not a bad one. I think we'll keep that on top. Uh, if we drew a dance, we could certainly bring that back uh, if we really wanted to, just to, you know, get some extra extra damage in. We will not keep that, however. So let's prison realm the Legion War boss here. There we go. And we really at this point just want to dance on top. Um, two, three, four, five. If we even last this turn, that's certainly an if. Um, we'll we'll see. Thankfully, we do have a planes in hand, so we don't have to shock ourselves if we do draw the dance. They may just be able to kill us here. Um, though I don't know why they would have main phased that. That's kind of interesting. They could just play that. The Rimrock Knight is a valued threat. Yep, okay, they got it. Um, unfortunately, we just didn't draw into anything. As you saw, we draw quite a number of lands there. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and concede. They're just piling on at that point. That's fine. Uh, okay, so we did win game one with a very sweet, uh, sweet opener, but we did not get game two. So let's see if we can get game three. Let's give it a shot. See what we can do. Hopefully we can get that last achievement as well. Um... Yeah, cool. Um, also, I'd just like to mention, I hope everybody is staying safe during this whole COVID-19 issue. Um, it's been going on for a while, obviously, but I just want to make sure everybody is doing their part, staying home, hopefully not visiting too many people, and staying away from being sick. Um, certainly not good. This is a good key pound. Uh, we've got two Omen of the Forge, so if we do find ourselves up against that mono red again, uh, we can certainly deal at least with a couple of the creatures. Um, and then if we ever need to bring them back, we have a dance. So if we are against a non-creature deck, we can throw the possibility pitching some of these omens. I'm perfectly happy to do that. Um, smart of the opponent not to go ahead and crack, uh, just to not give us information. Though here, our play obviously would have been the same either way. I'm going to keep the land on top. We certainly need every land we can get. And here, if we do find ourselves needing these, we have a good pitch with Mirror March and Thrill of Possibility. So, super happy about that. I'm assuming they're not mono red. Okay. Turn 1 Fabled Passage is fairly unlikely against a mono red deck. Ah, okay. In that case, we will pay two, and we'll just go ahead and do this. That Priest of the Forgotten Ways is definitely a problem card. This deck has quite a number of problem cards, though, so... Thankfully, we've got the Backup Omen, which we will use to take out this Woe Strider. Uh, they will get a Scry off of it, but that's that's fine. Our hollow fountain down. Glad we kept one on top there. We don't have to do this right now, but I will. Uh, technically, that's rushing it. So there is, you know, it would have been more correct, I think, to have waited till their turn, but I don't necessarily think it's going to matter. That's certainly a card we need to deal with. Um, they do have the opportunity to get it back at some point uh, with escape, but they are a ways off from that at this point.
Next turn, we're looking to Thrill of Possibility for sure. Uh, we'll wait to play the land to see what else we draw. We might be able to double Thrill without shocking ourselves, which would be great. Uh, certainly depends. We definitely need to get a Mountain if we can do that. That's annoying. And that's a solution. Um, yeah, I think we'll just Prison Realm that. Great for a lot of reasons that Prison Realm is the card that we drew there. Uh, it gets around um, quite a number of things. It doesn't go to the graveyard, so escape doesn't happen. Um, it looks like they may be short on double black anyway, though. Ah, okay. Tamarit Calls the Dead. Certainly a very good card here. We're up to four mana. We're halfway to Dance for six, which is good. But... We definitely have to be careful here. So we are going to draw the lamb. We'll thrill um, and see what else we get before playing it. Again, just on the off chance that we can double thrill. Um, if not, we may just shock ourselves thrill. I, I don't want to lose too much life against a deck like this. They've got Croxa, obviously. Woe Strider. Uh, this is very much a value deck, so we do have to be quite careful. Let's discard Mirror March. Draw a couple cards. Don't have a great thing to discard here, so what I'm going to do... Oh, actually, that doesn't work, does it? Whoops. Um, yeah, we need red for that. Sorry, that was a mistake. We'll pass. Um, I was thinking we could just scry, uh, but obviously we need red for that, and I did not uh, leave up red, so that was my bad. <clears throat> Get another zombie. What are we discarding here? I think just Sacred Foundry. We really don't want to discard any of these. Um, Thrill of Possibility would definitely be the next one, but it's a it's a tough contender. We certainly want it. I'd love to draw another like enchantment that we can discard. Uh, an Omen of the Forge would not go unwelcome. <clears throat> Well, all right, so let's thrill here. We'll discard a steam vents, unfortunately. Birth of Miletus, okay. That might help stem the bleeding a little bit if we can get it down in time. So let's get that out. Let's get the second birth. And we'll pull that, okay. Now at the start of this coming turn, we probably would like to scry here. So I'm going to get a forge into the graveyard. And then we do have access to just, if we need to, we can just uh, pull out the forge. Yep. Hate to see it. Hate to see it. We are going to have to discard here. Let's go ahead and get rid of that. We're going to take a hit. Pretty big one, too. Let's activate this. What are we looking to keep is the question. And I really don't know. I think we've just kind of lost this one, unfortunately. Another prison realm would help, because uh, we can certainly deal with Croxa at that point. But they're going to be able to get in for more than enough damage this turn, so I don't even think that gets us there. I think we just lose no matter what, right? So the reason being, we could deal with Croxa, for instance. Great. But they've got more than enough to deal damage to us that we can't really... Hmm. Omen kind of helps. Oh. 
There we go. So we get our walls. Let's get that down. And let's pass here. So we're going to go up to eight. Put two one ones on the battlefield. So that does mean we can potentially deal with some stuff here. Ah, okay. That certainly changes things. <laughs> And we have to discard here. Let's discard this actually then. Can we survive this is the question. So we're gonna gain four life at the start of this turn, but they can deal two, three, four. They can just win, right? They can just win right now. Yeah. Yeah, they got it. Okay. So unfortunately we didn't get there this time. We were actually only one land away from really getting there. Um, but that's okay. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video though. It was actually a really fun one. Uh, the first game was amazing. Second two, not so much, but uh, we did break our losing streak with this deck. So I'm happy about that. So thank you guys for watching. We really do appreciate all the support. Hopefully you guys are staying safe and having fun playing Magic. Uh, feel free, as always, to leave a deck suggestion down below. Please check out our links. Our Instagram and Patreon are down there. Uh, and then, of course, our website, itresolvesmtg.com. So thanks a lot, guys. I will see you in the next gameplay video.